Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. So here is a very short and simple sequence, yoga for burnout. So burnout is essentially adrenal exhaustion and depletion from excessive uh, adrenaline and cortisol production, which has a really awful knock-on effect on all of our bodily functions and systems. So it's really important to address burnout and exhaustion when it um, presents in your life. So here I'll show you some practices that will um, help you manage those symptoms of burnout. Um, if you have a bolster, that would be really helpful. Or if not, a big cushion or pillow would be really great. So just go ahead and find yourself something that resembles a bolster and um, we'll get set up. So if you think about your adrenals, they are small little endocrine glands that sit on top of your kidneys. Your kidneys are here. We want to just bring a lot more energy and focus to the adrenals. Let's start in this position where we've got the knees really wide. You might want to pad up your knees with a, with a blanket or the mat and you're going to have the knees apart and then take your pillow or bolster long ways. You can actually bring it all the way in towards your tummy if that feels good as well. So with the elbows down, you can let the arms spread out and start to just relax down into this position. And straight away you'll feel the nervous system start to relax and body soften. Let your eyes relax and maybe the eyes will close. Begin to tune into your breathing. Let the hips relax, the lower back relax. And with your eyes closed, take your awareness into your body, down the spine, and just above the hip bones where your kidneys are. And you just imagine your kidneys relaxing. You imagine when you send the breath down into the kidneys, the breath replenishes and energizes your kidneys. You can visualize it, work with some imagery. Imagine like a light energy coming down and just bathing the kidneys and the adrenals in the energy that they need. Stay with that visualization for a few more rounds of breath. As you let your body just relax down onto the pillow or the bolster. Now gently open up the eyes going to push down through the hands to come up and just move your bolster out to the side and we'll come into a seated side bend again giving a good sort of stretch and um, bringing awareness into um, the lower back and the sacral region send one leg out to the side and one heel into the body reach up turn to face your straight leg and fold forward so you may not come down too low, that doesn't matter. Just as long as you're keeping nice and spacious on that side of the body. Let the head melt down, the jaw relax, the eyelids relax. And then your right arm, bring it up and over into a side bend. And notice the stretch you get on that right side of the body. A 
reach all the way up and change sides. Take out your right leg, bring in your left heel and then we'll just reach up, turn to face your right leg and fold forward. Inhale, lengthens the belly, lifts the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Smooth, steady breaths. Keep the breath really slow and full. Complete the inhale before you start your exhale. Empty the exhale before you take your next inhale. Reach up with your left arm and turn and face the arm so that you're in more of a side bend. And then slowly come up to the seated, cross your legs, take your hands to the lower back and give the lower back a rub. So you're creating some warmth on your lumbar region, sending some warmth to the kidneys. Now, my mum used to always say it to me when I was little, <laughs> keep your kidneys warm. <laughs> if I was going out, well, in the 90s, it was fashionable to wear hipster jeans. But like, yeah, if your midriff was out, my mum was on you. Like she had to make sure that I kept my kidneys warm. And I start now I'm older. I see why. <laughs> yeah, it's really important. And the ankles, too, actually, because in reflexology, they say that the kidneys energy and a kidney meridian is associated with um, your ankles. So wear your socks and keep your cardigans covering your midriff. <laughs> Sound like my mum. Okay, so from here, let's go into the next pose. Um, soles of the feet together, hands on the ankles, and just sit tall and let the chin nod to the chest. Relax your shoulders back and let your head just release, release the jaw, turn the head from side to side. Letting go of stress and tension. Let your ear roll to one shoulder. Your eyes can stay closed or you can look up at the top corner of the room. Just stretch in the neck here and then roll the chin to the chest and then stretch your neck by bringing the ear to the shoulder. And back to the middle. Um, find your bolster or your pillow again. We're going to a Z sit. So you've got the diamond shape of your legs. Just turn one knee in and turn in the right knee in. So you've got this Z sit. And you can have the um, bolster out in front to lean on. But if you're comfortable without it, you can bring your forearms down and lie down here. So it all depends on your flexibility but don't there's no shame in taking support from a prop <laughs> so being here and just staying with your breath and consciously and actively let your hips relax you can use your exhale to really melt into the pose And then let's switch sides. So move your bolster over to the other side. Swing your legs around. Foot in contact with the knee. And lie down. You find where that feels good. So you find the sensation of gentle stretch. So you feel those energetic pathways activate in the body. Relax into the pose. And we'll slowly come up. Again, using the bolster now. I'm going to place it behind the upper back. So lie down, but have it kind of hit your lumbar. And then you kind of just lie back onto it. So the chest is really nice and open. And just breathe here. Let your feet relax. Chin points up to the ceiling. Arms out to the sides. Just let the chest open to encourage for a deeper breath.
the more oxygen you allow yourself to take in, the more it will provide the energy you need. Stay there for as long as you need, otherwise you can join me in the next posture where we just take that bolster and place it under the knees for relaxation. And again, here you can stay for longer if you need it today. Let your arms come out to the side and the knees are under the pillow or the bolster. Let your body melt into the ground and listen to the smooth flowing breath. Let your whole body relax. Enjoy this part and let it become the new normal. Your body can be in this nice state of relaxation throughout the rest of the day. And slowly from here, we'll just complete the practice by having a little stretch and roll to your side to come up. And there we go. So that's a really short sequence of yoga um, to remedy burnout symptoms and help with exhaustion. I hope that's helpful for you.